Hey there guys, welcome to the final home review of the season. Um, the penultimate game of the season. Uh, if you say one of the last reviews of the season before the end of season block review. And as you can see with the league table, obviously we are safe. We are secure and with the scoreline of today's game and the team picked for the today's game, you had to hope that we were safe. Because we already were safe but we made seven changes to the team before the start of the match obviously with Jaycock coming in, George Friend coming back in, Amari Miller coming in. You got Rakeem Harper coming back, Cogley coming in, Sturt coming in, Cosgrove coming in. It was like lots of changes to the team. And even on the bench, we were quite... We had a few on the bench. I mean, Nico Gordon came off the bench. Connell Truman was the backup goalkeeper, so Etheridge wasn't there. You didn't have Prieto there either. You had, obviously, Harley Dean sat on the bench. Riley McGree on the bench. Gary Gardner, who I think has pretty much played every game of this season, on the bench. Ivan Sanchez, Jeremy Bello and Yuki on the bench. These, these were main players, so we were playing pretty much our under 23s team here we were expecting to get beat and it was probably an expectation for it to be two goals three goals it was disappointing that it was four goals but as as it says realistically they scored four we scored naught we had i got the stats on a second screen here uh we did have 11 shots in the game which shows the initiative to get the shots away. Four of the shots were blocked. Um, so that that's a bit of a disappointing stat. So the majority of our shots that we had on target were blocked. So we had five shots on target. Um, but four of them were blocked. Uh, six shots off target versus their 13 shots. Seven on target. Only four blocked. Uh, we did have 58% possession. I feel like with possession of the ball, we looked quite good. Uh, the passing, the flow of the play, we looked a lot better than we have previously. Uh, under previous managers. Um, we did 407 passes in the game for 71% accuracy on those passes. Which is obviously, once again, a lot better than we used to be with our 50%, 55% passing and probably doing... 290 at best passes I would say um, with being a younger team sadly we did lose a lot of jewels in the air but we did in fact win 29 jewels on in the air and 165 on the floor so we, we did do quite well in our tackling um, the simple fact of the matter was they had a more experienced squad they had a more experienced players all together on the pitch from their starting 11 we had an average age of 24 in our starting 11 which is pretty young especially considering theirs is pushing 27 so they're all pushing their prime as are pushing their just about squeezing their way into the first team age um obviously i've put up their stirk as man of the match looking at statistic wise at how he played and everything around that he was the better of a bad bunch i would say for this game um he certainly put himself in there as someone who could be playing next season i thought Amari miller had an all right match um statistics with what sofa score says down there doesn't say everything because um <laughs> for me cogley got a 6.6 .6, which was kind Jaycock got a 5.7, which I thought is extremely harsh, because without Jaycock, I think we would have... what It would have at least been 8 or 9 without Jaycock. Um, he made a couple of errors, and one of the, the free kick, the first free kick that went in, was a great strike by Harry Wilson, don't get me wrong, but the wall was placed in completely the wrong place, and there was enough space for him to go... Look, I'm a Premier League quality player. I know how to do this. Nice space, just round the corner, perfect into the bottom corner. Wonderful goal. Um, same by him with his fourth, his fourth the free kick to make it his hat trick. It was a wonderful strike by him. 
and he he was also one of the big reasons they won the match. Obviously, he gets his hat trick, two goals from free kicks, first goal from a complete mishap at the back. Sadly, it was from Mark Roberts, which is obviously one of our most experienced players on the pitch. So you can't blame the youth for that one. So the first goal going in, you cannot blame him for. The, the youth players like Cogley and Seddon and Sterk and Jaycock. Jaycock didn't do brilliantly, but at the end of the day, it's not expected of him to do sensationally in a game like this. When you've got a team player like Mark Roberts in front of him and George Friend in front of him. You expect them to have enough quality to stop those kind of things. Um, third goal, once again, lovely run down the wing, uh, lovely header through, ties it in, and then lovely finish into the bottom corner. Great finish, was being marked by Seddon. He possibly could have done a bit better, but... What can we say? Substitutes coming off the bench. I thought a couple of them did play quite well. Ivan Sanchez was up there as one of the best players on the pitch for Blues, for me. Uh, he made some good runs. Uh, he got a couple of free kicks that he won. A couple of crosses he put in. He put, he played well, but you expect him to. Gary Gardner came on 79th minute, didn't do a lot. Riley McGree came on, got tackled a couple of times, didn't get much opportunities. Holly Dean came on and gave away the free kick for the fourth goal. Um, didn't do much else. Nico Gordon, I thought, played better than a 6.1 as well. Um, I thought he played better than Cogley myself. Uh, but looking at the team, we were expecting to come out of this with a loss. We did come out of this with a loss, but it was an experiment. It was an experiment that didn't go brilliantly, but he knows what kind of players he needs next season. He knows that the backups are aren't really up to the standards of the first team. They're not up to the standards of playing against other teams yet. You've got probably Amari Miller and Sterk are the only two who've come out with confidence that they can do it. Obviously, you've got Sunyak who plays all right. He was, he's a first teamer anyway. Sanchez the same. Um, you expect it from them. Raheem Harper was all right, but are we going to have him next season? It depends whether we try to loan him or sign him at the end of the season. Cosgrove was okay. Won a couple of balls, brought them down, did a couple of decent passes. But other than that, I didn't see any of them really shining. But yeah, for me, Sturt gets man of the match. We are sat now in 18th place on 52 points. Safe as houses, uh, 12 points clear of what was relegation. Hopefully next season we can look on up. Um, and see what happens in the transfer window. It's going to be a massive transfer window for us. Are we going to sign the players to bring us up that league table? Are we going to lose a lot of players? You don't know. But anyway, put your thoughts on that game down below. There'll be a review coming after the final game. And then after that, I will do a final end of season review. And then... We'll be on to pre-season. If we aren't already feeling like we're already there with this game. Keep right on. On to the next game against Blackburn.